Hi beauties, it's Jean with Beauty and the Stamper and I was in the middle of putting together a piece in my junk journal. Now this is the thing, I had made this years ago with a bunch of you beauties and we had such a good time and I loved it. But it's time for me to move on but I didn't want to forget the memory. And so even though it's called a junk journal, nothing is junk. So this was done on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And all I did was I cut it right down the middle. And so I can add this to my junk journal. So I call it my life journal. I've been doing it for years and years and years. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a piece of a part of here that I haven't really done. So here we go. I bought this because it was a beautiful pink cover and I love pink if you know me. So it was, what is it real? It was started out as a Jillian's Michael Slim for Life book that I found at Dollar Tree. But we're going to go ahead and like I said, nothing's junk. We're going to end up using these pieces. But I don't just want to throw it in there, even though I could. I 100% could. But I don't love this um, white with that tan color. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of fun here. And I'm just going to get... I'm just looking because... I wanted to show you guys, but I didn't have anything that I knew I wanted to do. So I'm just looking through some stuff here to see what I would like. So of course I drop stuff. I'm looking, I think I like this cross hatch. I just dropped this, so it's gonna be all over the place. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me put it all away. But I'm gonna get out this cross hatch. And I think this is just some, yeah, this is just some splatter here. So we're gonna get out a couple blocks to play with this. And I'm just gonna stick this here and here. And then I'm gonna get out a color which I like this color. It's a balmy blue and a crumb cake. So I'm gonna go with my crumb cake here and we are gonna just stamp up this book. So I'm actually gonna switch this because I wanna have a good handle on this. And we're gonna kinda cross hatch here and there and give it a little bit of color. Now I keep getting a halo on here, but that's what I love about this junk journaling is you can make mistakes and it's not a huge deal. There's always a way to cover it up. So we're, we're just putting it there and I'm pretty sure I don't even need that. I don't think that's gonna show very much. But we're just putting a little bit of cross hatch here and there. And then I'm still going to use this. I'm going to take this guy here and I'm going to blend a little bit. And we're going to blend just around here. I think I used a darker color. This is, does, doesn't look like it is really a crumb cake. That looks like a crumb cake, but that up there did not. But we're just adding color here and there. And again, you don't have to worry. When you're doing junk journaling, it's so much fun because you just do what you like. And you don't need to worry about anything. So I think I'm done there. But I wanted to bring in some of that balmy blue as well. So I'm going to grab that. And for this one, we'll put some little splatters here and there. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I really should have just found a smaller. <laughs> but that's okay. A smaller block. But now we're going to use that balmy blue. And we're going to put some more around these edges here. And we're just giving some color to what would normally be a bland page, right? And it doesn't have to be completely filled, but we're just getting rid of some of that um, white, or you know, the tan against the white. So some of that tan will still be showing and that is quite all right. I'm holding this flat so I don't color all the other pages because we don't need all the other pages to be colored. They have their own designs or their own designs coming. So there we go. And now I could continue on. I could do some little, where did I? I could add some flex in here, some bigger flex, <laughs> and we'll do some over here inside the middle of this book. That's good. I put this back in the wrong one. So we've got that. I'm going to look here and look at the difference. It just, it's not, it's, it looks like it's part of it, right? So, I love this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a little bit more of that edging. Don't worry about that because I am. Um, it's just the back side and it's going to get glued in here. But just adding a little bit more color on these sides. And like I said, I don't want to have the, um, the other pages colored. So we're going to do that. this and half of the time like I this is a lot of this is going to be covered up but some of it's just the fun of um, playing with ink and paper you know so I got that I come over here and the thing is, is I'm going to remember this. No, it's not hanging on my wall anymore. Although it was for a number of years. If you took that class, let me know. I know there was a, a number of us doing it. And it was all online. And it was so much fun. But look at how fun that looks. So now I'm just getting the extra ink off here. Alright, and you can cut it any way you like. I just cut it into two pieces, but I could have cut out these little squares and put them in here. But now I'm going to use my glue, and I'm going to put that glue as far to the edge without going all the way, I'm making sure if I am at the edge, ooh, <laughs> that I am not heavy because I don't want it squirting out the sides. So we're going to get that. I'm going to put that right down here. And 
And then I'm going to get the other side. And I'm going to do this kind of quick because I, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to close it. And then we'll go back and find it. And I mean, once you start filling these pages up, you're really going to, it's going to get thick. So I still have plenty of extra pages there. And then while that's going, I'm going to, again, on the outer edges, I do it a little bit lighter. And I leave enough room for it to squirt the sides if it does come out. It's not going to, it's not right on the edge. So we're going to open this back up. Look how easy that was. And I'm going to line that up pretty well. But I'm going to leave some space. Because I still want it to be able to close. And if I put it too close, it's just going to pop open. Even here is a little too close, but, but that is okay. I'm loving, loving, loving this. So now I get to keep this and it does close rather nicely. If it is too big, I could always take a couple pieces out and just cut along here and then it'll have plenty more room. But I don't do that at this point. I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer and see where I can go. So that is another page, you guys, and now, you beauties who did this class with me, you guys are in my life book forever. How cool is that? My plan is to have this, you know, for my children and my grandchildren to be able to go through this and be like, hey, look what mom's life was, all the different things, and look what Nana's life was, all the different things. So if you made it into my life book, you definitely are something special. All right, beauties, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!